My name is Tom Whitehead and my website is Cuisine Thoughts and today we're going to make flour tortillas. Very simple, pretty straightforward. Flour, baking powder, salt, fat, and uh, some water. So you have to be careful how much water uh, depending on the humidity of the day. So we'll be careful with that and we're just going to make a dough and uh, we're going to knead it, rest it, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to uh, flatten them and make the tortillas. First thing you have to do is make the dough. So I have 300 grams of flour already made, um, measured out. We need a, a teaspoon of baking powder. We need a half teaspoon of salt. And then we need some melted uh, fat. Now you can have butter, lard, shortening, or even oil. I'm using butter today because I figure everybody's got some butter. So it's, it's like half a stick. And I have all the recipes on my website. Melted butter, put it into the mixture. And I found at this point, if you whisk it, it works pretty well getting all the fat around as in, uh, mixed into the flour. Now we need just hot tap water. Now the max you want to put in is about a cup. So you have to be careful. We're going to put in like half a cup and see where we go. wetter than that. A little wetter than that. <laughs> there we go. Now it's coming together. Now, we're going to give it a knead. Simple, quick, easy knead to get it to come together. There. Now we need to make it into eight blocks, so I just do this. And now, we're gonna roll them into balls. Okay, now we're going to put them under a moist paper towel so they don't dry out and we're going to let them sit for half an hour. There we go. And um, then we'll come back. I'll show you how to flatten them out and cook them. 
All right, see you in a bit. Okay, been half an hour. Now it's time to roll out some tortillas. So while I'm getting ready to roll out the first tortilla, I'm going to start my pan. This is a griddle. You can use a fry pan. You can, it's fine. But I used a, I'm using a cast iron griddle. I'm going to put it on medium high heat. And this is a dry griddle. So the first thing I do is put some flour down, press out the tortilla. And I work from inside out. Give it a half turn, inside out. If you feel it's getting a little sticky, you can add some more flour. There. There's our tortilla. Let's see if our grill is hot. Yep. So just put it down while that one's going. You'll get into a little bit of a pattern of starting your next one. Inside out. Oops. Half turn. Inside out. There. See what these look like. They're starting to bubble up a little bit. We want them to get a little bit charred. Nothing yet. Sometimes it takes a little while to get the pan up to heat. It has to be hot. So Starting to get there. Not hard so far, is it? I hope not. So, uh, here we go. When it's hot enough, it only takes 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds per side. It'll smoke a little bit, have your fan on. My fan doesn't go outside, exits, uh, um, exhaust, so I just recycle, so. Okay, here we go. Almost. And we're gonna take what we make and just put it on a plate. Here we go. That's better. It's like a pancake, the first one's never perfect. One's on. We'll make the next one. Half turn. Inside out. Oops. Remove your utensils. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's puffing up nice. Beautiful. Here we 
go. Beautiful. Perfect. Next one on. Inside out. We go flip this guy over perfect put the next one on Roll out the next tortilla. Comforting, isn't it? Kind of fun. Inside out. Oh, oh come on. It's getting hot. <laughs> Oh, look how beautiful that's puffing up. Oh, yeah. See, pan is finally hot enough. How's that? Pretty nice, huh? Last one. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. It's very simple. You probably, after you taste these, you'll, you'll probably never get a store-bought one again. You can make quesadillas out of this, tacos, you can make burritos, all kinds of fun things. You can take it and make dips. You can use it for dips. It's really, really, really um, great recipe to know, to have in your repertoire. And now that you see how easy it is to make, and you can see the kids teach the kids. Kids can make this, so. There we go. Anyway, thanks for watching, and bon appetit.